Okay, that's now recording. Do we have Stu? Yeah. Is Stu there? No. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> well it looks like we're still recording oh, so well we, we are i mean this isn't gonna get used for anything but that was hilarious no. <laughs> we started recording we got we got the recording working and then Stu vanished <laughs> it's it, it's because we it's because we, we, we were talking about Ryden. she she's appeared yeah. in Stu's flat and has deleted him <laughs> to uh to keep her secret safe <laughs> just zapped his computer with uh, an electric arc <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's because we've got a deadline. It's the powers that be. You're like, no, no, you're not going to be able to fit one in now. That's it. <laughs> not going to happen. No. You've done all all the podcasting you, you're allowed for one day. Yeah, that's enough podcasting. Go home. Go, <laughs> go, 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 out, go outside, you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, Amy? Got a thousand nostalgia going. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just a bit tired. I was playing a lot of WoW yesterday. Fair enough. Ended up having the late night because I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna do a bunch of heroics." Oh. Yeah, I, I've I've started falling back into um, really bad gaming habits with Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, mm. Like the last sort of, um, with the exception of Thursday, because I physically couldn't. Um, every night this week, I've been up to like three AM just doing my fucking daily quests because I'm like, yeah, it's 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 just so. I mean, for for one, it's super enjoyable anyway. But it's it, it's it, it's it's always just oh, I can do. I've, I've got this to do. That won't take long. I've got that to do as well. That won't take long. And there's like twenty tw- yeah. tw- twenty things that, that that won't take long, and I can just rattle through them. But y- you add them up, and that's like three hours of gameplay. <laughs> like oh shit, I know it's so bad. It's like oh. So yesterday I was like, oh, well, as I'm subbed anyway, I'll download Retail WoW and just see what that looks like currently. Um, Because I've got some, like, nice stuff on my main. And then I was totally confused logging in because they've changed the UI um, and they've made some good improvements, but it was very confusing. I was like, nah, I want to go back to, like, old WoW because I prefer old WoW, really. And I kind of wish I'd played more in like proper classic because I think that's what I really wanted to play. I'm, I'm really happy playing Switch King, but yeah. But then I was like, oh, well, I'll just do all the old quests because eventually I won't be able to do them again because they'll update this to Cataclysm or they'll make some yeah, changes. Yeah, at, so, um, at some point all the old content will disappear. Just depends yeah, on so I thought, well, I'll just go through all the old quests and get Lore Master because that will be a fun use of my time and then I'll have obtained it because I've never managed to do that on any of my main characters so yeah but that takes up all the time yep. so and, much time and then, <laughs> and then b- before you know it it's the, it's 3am and you're like what am I doing with my life <laughs> yeah and I'm like oh. because yeah yesterday it was literally just oh play for a couple of hours and then it did turn into the whole day I was mm-hmm. meant to go out and I just couldn't be bothered and I was meant to meet my sister and I couldn't be bothered with that either so, so I was I was supposed to be basically doing maps and raids all day with um, uh, my Finnish friends on Final Fantasy but um, mm. uh, my my partner's because she, she, she she's kind of, kind of got, got, got me into it and mm. it's, her, it's her free company that I'm a part of She's just like you're too low level for low, low level for, for, for what what we want to do today. Um, they, they could come and do low level stuff with me, but mm. um, her inventory, her in game inventory, is just a mess. Like she doesn't have any space in in any of her storage or retainers and stuff. So she's like, yeah, you're gonna get loads of stuff from doing those maps. I am doing it with you because I, I haven't got space for any of it. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll find it. I'll, I'll sort it out myself, I guess. Mm. So at, at the moment, I'm just in, in sort of hyper leveling mode, trying to get through all the main story content so I can play with them with all, all, all of them properly. Yeah. So, That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? It just takes because like when I because it took me like a week and a half to get to level eighty or mm-hmm. seventy at the time. So I was really impressed that I managed to get it done so quick. It was a buff to allow the XP, and I was motivated because I wanted to be on the first wave of people completing stuff. Because yeah. as long as you're on the first wave, it just makes the rest of your life in-game a lot easier mm. because you can just get groups because you've already got the gear. That's um, it. 
and then, and then you're then you're 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 not stressing about it so much and all that sort of thing. Exactly, exactly. Like my first raid run, I got like five items, which was super good. And then since then, I've got like one every week, but I've got like the main bulk of it, so it's all good. Um, and and that's been really fun. And I've lucked in with a group of people that are quite nice, and they they don't mind me sort of messing around a bit because I've because it's all really easy content. We've all done it before, so I've been solo healing quite a bit of it, which has been fun. Nice. That's made it actually challenging, and it's nice to have a group that I can do that with. Um, but yeah, I, I do kind of want to play like normal WoW in a sense because I just don't know what's going to happen with these characters. So it kind of feels like a waste investing lots of time into achieving achievements and whatnot to yes just not use it at the end of the day. But the, the enjoyment is doing the thing. That, in the first place that's really. it the, the enjoyment <laughs> is not getting the achievement or the trophy or whatever it's, mm. it, it's the journey you take to get there it's doing and it yeah so. I'm, 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 I'm finding that with Final Fantasy as well like, because some of the achievements are just ridiculous mm. um, like I, I figured out I figured out that um, you have to um, certainly, certainly to get to get one of them I would have to do um, like one of the one of the most high, high, high level raids I would have to do that every every day for like two years mm-hmm. to get there so yeah. I'm a long way off getting that but obviously yeah. it's, it's the experience of getting there that's, um, that matters yeah no, I like obtaining achievements one thing I liked about retail well was going back and doing all the old stuff on my own and I don't know whether I preferred the stuff that was a challenge so I felt rewarded when completing it or whether I just liked going through it super quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More I mean, so but, and then sort of taking it off. I think there's enjoyment to be, to be had in both because there's enjoyment in, in overcoming, overcoming the challenge but sometimes you just want to feel like a badass and just steal yeah. everything. Yeah, it's nice to have bits of both, I guess. So, yeah, so it's quite nice. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and it'd be nice that if they continue, like, and do like a classic. Like, I just don't want them to bring out Cataclysm. I, th- I feel like I'll probably just not bother if they mm-hmm. do. I'll probably give it a go, and then because I wasn't really in a guild when it came out last time, so I might enjoy it more when there's nice people to play with. So, yeah. So having having good people to play with makes such a difference. Ah, uh, absolutely. Like, that's why I didn't stick with classic. I didn't find like a good enough group of people to hang with within the first couple of weeks, and then by that time, my motivation to actually hit level cap was waning. And yes. It's so hard in vanilla WoW is so hard. Yeah. And I was like, doing horde as well. So I, like this. <laughs> I, th- I think if I if I if I hadn't been introduced to in, introduced to the game um, by my partner and then subsequently subsequently joined their their free company. Um, mm. I don't think I would have got on with it as well as I have. No. Um, like c- certainly playing it solo, I wouldn't be anywhere near as far through it as I am, just because I fucking hate playing with with with, with random parties to do dungeon yeah. stuff. That's it. Like I don't because I uh, like the first time round. Um, like I remembered getting yelled at a bit, like just in chat. But I think nowadays in the game what's quite nice is people recognise that it's not always the healer's fault that people die it's it. you're not paying attention to the mechanics and that's, that's caused you to if you're, take too uh, much damage either you're either you're not you're, you're not paying attention to, to the mechanics or maybe the tank isn't doing their job which means that the healer's having to work harder to keep the yeah, exactly. up which means the so, DPS are getting ignored all that sort of stuff yeah so it definitely feels like a in some cases a more of an adult community that being said like trade chat is still trade chat and it's just ridiculous sometimes and you get all the old stuff still come up which is good and there's this like whole new way of reading where you're spending money to gain items which didn't exist really yeah, when that, I was playing before and I was oh it's so strange not sure but, how I feel about that. that that feels a bit pay to win oh it's, it's, it's a way to launder bought gold into the game because you, you just spend it on things which is fine but like and the, the economy is actually super good because you've got all these bots right. creating all these resources and stuff but hey it's Jews back hello welcome back uh just trying to access my path builder sorry about that that's, that's all right. okay 
Yeah, so you seem crystal clear now, so I think it was worth it. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, even your camera's clearer. Mm, yeah, you've obviously had a problem that's rectified. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's been a couple of months since I've last restarted the computer, so... <laughs> Oh, do you, do, do you normally just put it into sleep? Uh, oh, it I? normally puts itself into sleep. Okay, that's that's bad practice. Jim. I turn I it off. Absolutely, <laughs> no, that is bad practice. Your yes. your PC has a shutdown function for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's for him to ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like we're recording. Yeah, it you, is. Got, you, you you got a recording off just before you you crash completely. So. Um, some of that might be useful as a preamble, I don't know. Yeah, we were just not in about a while. Uh, well, it's saying yeah, it's like one person. minute in, so... Well, it, it will be for you because you've just joined, but we, we've all got like ten minutes worth of audio. Okay, well, yeah, um, you might have to send that to me. Uh, I'll have a look. We'll see. Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. see what happens. We'll, we'll yeah, this... Um, so, yeah, I will apologise in advance to our listeners. This episode might be of a weird length as a result of all the uh, shenanigans we just had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the fact that Amy's got to disappear very shortly. But, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll technical get difficulties. Technical difficulties, and for once they weren't my fault. <laughs> yeah. No, it's about time that I had some, so yeah. So yeah. it's my turn. And we <laughs> shared them around. <laughs> shared them around. All right. Well, welcome back, Stu, and welcome back, listeners, <laughs> to Tales from the Twenty Side, a Pathfinder Second Edition Let's Play podcast. My name is Dom, and I'm your GM for this game and for many others. And I'm joined by Stu. Hello. I'm joined by Amy. Hello. And I'm joined by Asta. Hello. Welcome back, folks. We made it back. Yay. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. We did it. How we how we all doing? Mm, good. Yeah. Very good. And what 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 date is it in, in the real world right now? We're, oh. we're like near the end of January, aren't we? We must be. Oh, no, I've missed my birthday. Um, oh, happy birthday, Stu. Oh, June. happy belated birthday, Stu. Uh, thank you. <laughs> How did we miss that? Shame oh, on us. No, indeed. Um, so what dropped last night? That was uh, one thirty-two drop last night as we're recording at the end of uh, November. November. So 133, 134, 135. We're super prepared. Look how prepared we are. I don't think we've ever had this many in the bank before. That's nice. Yeah. No, it really, really is very, very nice. So this will go out, I mean, technically on the 21st, but in reality on the 22nd. So it was my birthday on Monday. There we no. go. So we're not too far no, no. out, at least. That's it. That's good. That's it. Did you have a nice birthday, Stu? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It was Monday, wasn't it? That's right. I, yeah. Um, um, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, you I have had no an amazing what the birthday. Hell I'm going to do. Uh, the mm-hmm. only thing I've got in my diary is a 20 side recording because I've put it in as a floating Monday loose plan. Um, mm. Yeah. So in that case, you're you're going to get two birthday birthdays then. Yeah. <laughs> You've had one now, as we're in the future, and then we're going to have an actual birthday. Great. Uh, are we in the future or are we in the past? I don't know where we are. We're <laughs> stuck somewhere in limbo. Who knows? Speaking of not knowing where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of not knowing where you are, I mean, you, you kind of know, know, know where you are in game, but um, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a weird place you found yourselves in. Yes. Yeah. Well, I always learnt about weather, so that's good. <laughs> it's a very educational time. <laughs> Super educational. We we were just we were just saying, obviously, because um, uh, you had a bit of fan theory speculation earlier on um, mm. on certain mem- members of the, members of the party. Uh, before what well, well, before we start recording, um, I sort of said to everyone, or maybe, maybe Stu's having all, all these problems because Ryan just just appeared and, and just made him disappear. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Can't can't have you knowing any of her secrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go to sleep. That would be really. Actually, no. Getting to sleep's fine. It's staying asleep these days. But that's being old. 
Yeah. You have to get up to pee several times a night. <laughs> ah, those kids won't get off my lawn. It's a nightmare. <laughs> All this used to be fields. I it did. Take it. it did, you know. <clears throat> All this used to be fields. <laughs> All right. Well, as we are on borrowed time in many senses of the word, um, not least because... Uh, uh, Amy's got to disappear. Uh, let's just get straight back into the action, I think, folks. What do you reckon? Should we do it quick? And we are joined by first. We've already done it. Yeah, we already did it. Oh, yeah, okay. Just, just yeah. then. Oh, for for, for once, once it wasn't. For Pay once attention, it wasn't, Stu. <laughs> for once it wasn't me who, 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 who forgot it, so there we go. Uh, thank God I'm the one who edits this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, but you think, forget. So it I think fine. maybe you need to have a very well well earned nap after this before our next session. <laughs> I think I need to work with myself. That's what I need. <laughs> All right. Well. So yeah. So bringing us br- bringing us back into the game. Uh, where do we find ourselves, folks? What's happening? What is hip and happening? We made it to the forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're in the forest. We're heading towards. Baba Yaga's dancing hut. Um, we've just gone past um, Drippy Man or Drippy Person, uh, should I say? Um, who referred to us as Little Drips? Don't know how to take yes, that, he did. but you know, yeah, with big drip. Yeah, um, and yeah, I think. I mean, I don't. Uh, as a player, I don't know what to make of that encounter because it's like. Hello, we're friendly. Can we go past? Yep, yeah, sure. Okay, and we went past. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we went past, and, and and nothing bad happened ever again. And yeah. I think that's fine. Let's let's not tempt fate. <laughs> yeah, poke, poke, poke the uh, the very wet, very strange bear. See what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're we're on course. We're on track. We're we're doing this. It's been a long doing time building. Thing. Oh, it, it really has. It really has. I, I don't mind telling you guys. Um, we are kind of now in uh, the final act of um, of this book. Uh, so uh, it has has been a long time coming. Almost two years, I think, at this point since you mm. since you started uh, on book two of Rain of Winter. Hmm. Making some progress. Making some progress. Uh, however, um, something that appears determined to stop that to stop that progress uh, are these two falling trees that are very inconveniently decided to drop on top of Alwyn. Yes. Um, so I think we should find out what's going to happen there, and what are, are the ve- the very first thing I'm going to need. Uh, I'm going to need all to do is roll no actually we're not we're not gonna roll initiative not just yet there's no point uh roll initiative against the tree i think i think you can win you hope i I don't know our rolls (laughs) uh, yeah so um remind me of your marching order obviously alwyn was um taking the lead uh who else who was who was behind him Uh, i think uh, Amos and I would be. Yep, Amos. Uh, Amos and was at the back, weren't you? Yeah, Ryan was I was at right the at the back. Okay, so you 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 were kind of walking um, in like a diamond, like 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 one two one almost. Mm. What about Chardonnay? Uh, sh- where 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 would you like Chardonnay to be? Would would he be alongside you? Would you would he be? I, I think um, he'd be up, back? up up close with me. I think yeah. All right. Okay. So as as you're sort of advancing up this th- this northern passage, um, Alwyn, your boot snags on on something, a trip wire or something that, that, that's been strung across the path. You hear this creaking and this crashing, and you watch as uh, two very large trees topple, begin to fall inwards to all of you, toward all of you. Um, I need everybody except. Ryden to make a reflex saving throw, please. Oops. <laughs> Does that include Chardonnay? Obviously. Does. That includes Chardonnay, yes. 12. 
27 for Alwyn. 27 for Alwyn. Della? 22. 22 for Della. And what for... um, uh, For Chardonnay. 25. 25, okay. If we're all feeling on edge and readied... (laughs) Seem, seem, certainly seems you were. Um, I mean, that's not, say say what what you like about creepy moisture man. He certainly got certainly put your guard up. <laughs> um, there we go. So um, as 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 you hear the as you hear these uh, this this crack and the, the, these trees toppling to the ground, um, uh, Alwyn, you throw yourself forward into in, into a roll. Um, uh, Avoiding the worst of da- of a damage, um, as does Chardonnay, uh, as in fact does Della. You all are able to to succeed on this on this saving throw. However, you're still going to take a bit of damage um, mm-hmm. from just these various trees uh, um, collapsing on top of you. Um, if nothing else, you are at least able to avoid being pinned um, or, tra- or trapped by them. Um, so that would have been eight, nine. That would have been eleven point points of damage. However, it's reduced to five for all of you as you get get out of the way of the worst of it, and you are um, you are not uh, trapped beneath them. Uh, at this point, I need everybody to roll perception, please. Okay. Um, Ooky, just a very quick one. I I'm sure we've done this in the past, but I can't. I believe I can't use liberating step against. Hazards, hazards against hazards you can't no. right okay specifically has to be an enemy that's what I, I yeah that's where I remembered it just wanted to check that's it and I, I know I know we I know we have this, this, this running joke that it's not friendly but, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's specifically against creatures that, 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 that are attempted yeah, to harm you that's fair enough uh, dirty 20 for Alwyn dirty 20 for Alwyn 23 for Zella 23 for Della. 28 for Raiden. 28 for Raiden. The hell. That was a natural 19 on the die. That was pretty good. Um, I don't mind telling you, I'm pretty sure you're all going before uh, what's about to happen. (laughs) (laughs) Is it another splinter vortex? (laughs) No. Don't give Maybe me my ideas. <laughs> I mean, we've already done that once, and look what happened for you all. Yeah. Mm. It's great. It's great. Okay, so um, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why I can't do that. Abda. Abda. Okay, so I can tell you that uh, you are all going to be acting before uh, whatever has happened here. I can't. I. I can. It's fine. Okay, so. We will say that. Uh, so, so um, as as these trees come crashing down, um, you all hear um, sort of from from fr- from the shadows of the tree line itself. Um, you hear uh, you hear two 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 sort of almost maniacal cackles. And yeah, <laughs> now we feast. And you see as. Um, uh, breaking out of the outer of of the tree line, um, there are two um, really grotesque looking lo- looking creatures. Um, sort of hunch, um, they are hunch hun- hun- hunchbacked, um, massively long, almost bat bat like like ears that, that that curl off into um, to to to. To, 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 toward the sky, um, their entire bodies are covered in what looks to be a thick mane, shaggy black hair, 
um, that descends from uh, from 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 their hun- from, from the back of their hunch. Um, their faces are um, elongated. Um, uh, th- their faces are e- e- elongated. Their mouths open uh, with rows of razor sharp looking lo- looking teeth and a forked tongue that flicks towards them. And you can see um, they have three. Uh, three piercing blue blue, blue, blue eyes, uh, sort of two where the, where you would normally expect eyes to be, and a third um, in the centre of the forehead. And these two creatures spring out of out of, of the tree line. You can see they've got very sharp looking claws. They seem to crackle a bit with um, uh, with arcane power. Uh, however, uh, because they rolled terribly on their initiative, uh, <laughs> they are acting after basically everybody else. So Raiden. As the first person to act, you see you see these trees topple before you. You see these two creatures spring out of the bushes. One is going towards Alwyn and Chardonnay, and the other is moving towards the rest of you. And what I will say is, um, between all of you, there is now this tattered tangle of, of broken tree branches and tree trunks um, that uh, is going to be quite difficult to move through. You're kind of separated into two groups. Uh, Alwyn and Chardonnay are... Uh, kind of by themselves on the far side of this um, this collapsing thing, and uh, yourself, Amos, and Della are on the other side. And there is one of these creatures rushing towards you. What do you do? Uh, what's the distance between myself and the one closest to us, and also that one to the one going after Alwyn? Okay, so you can see both of them. Um, so actually. It's 20 feet to both of them. You're kind of in a position where you're almost set central to all of them. Uh, in which case, uh, I will uh, cast a electric arc, uh, striking the one heading towards us first and then bouncing to the other one. Yeah, sure. Uh, that will be a reflex save. Reflex save from both of these creatures, of course. Right, so I've got uh, a 19 on the first one. That's a fail. That is. Uh, Slightly better, 22 on the second. Uh, That is my DC. Okay, so uh, roll damage. Uh, I rolled max on the dice, which is exciting. That's very exciting. Uh, A total of 16. 16 points of damage. So, So this nasty zap to the creature rushing towards yourself and Amos. Secondary arc that bounces across to the the other creatures. Uh, they it, they they sort of stop for a second with a, with a yelp, yeah, um, and then they recover themselves and they continue rushing forwards. So you've got one action left, right? Uh, I uh, do you know what you pointed it out earlier? Uh, I'd like to try and recall knowledge. All right. What what is your nature DC, Ryden? Uh, Sorry, your nature <clears throat> modifier. One. Okay, plus one. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I can tell you, tell you, Ryden, um, that uh, the creature you are facing here, um, it's a relatively common type of fey uh, known as a nuglub. It's uh, part of the gremlin kind of kind of, kind of, kind of sub sub sub, sub family. Um, they are amongst the largest of of all all grem, gre, grem, gre, gremlin kind, and uh, I can tell you they enjoy nothing more uh, than killing with absolute glee um, that other gremlins usually reserve for for sabotage and, and mischief. Uh, they love to plan hours. They love to spend hours preparing ambushes. For unwary travellers or plotting the murders of sleep, sleeping sleeping vill- villages, um, they love bu- building traps. And uh, if they can find a way to make sure that somebody else get, get, gets the blame for, blame for their mischief, then that's even better. Um, in addition to in, in addition to that, Ryden, I will tell you one piece of information about them. What would you like to know? <sighs> um. AC? Is that, hard is that an to option? Hit. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to say no. So, in terms of the stuff you can learn, 
I can tell you, um, I'll tell you um, any weaknesses and resistances, any special, any special abilities okay. they have, how they how they behave in combat, that kind of thing. Uh, let's go for their combat behaviour. Their combat behaviour. So, um, Nuglubs are bullies. Um, they will seek. They only ever ever seek to, to attack when they think they have, they have the advantage. Um, yeah, ba- ba- basically they will attack with a mix of spell and and to, 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 to tooth and claw. And if creatures, um, they're quite adept. At, they're quite adept at, uh, at finding weak spots on um, on their targets, if that makes sense. Mm. Uh, so, get, in game speak, they deal sneak, sneak attack damage against flat footed targets. Okay. <clears throat> and on top, ju- ju- just to add to add to that, um, wherever possible, they will try and get their target on the ground, so they so they have an easier time to um, to hit them. Okay, fantastic. That's my turn. That is Raiden's turn, which brings us on to Della. Cool. How close is the closest one to me? Uh, so they are. St- so, so, so the nearest one to you is only 50, 15 feet. However, it's on the other side of this tangle of trees and branches, so you kind of have to climb through that first. Um, the most accessible one. Um, the most accessible one you can you can get to with uh, twenty feet of movement. Twenty. Yes. Okay, so I'll go for the accessible one because I can get there with one move. Yeah. All right. You rush forwards. And I will draw my plus one rapier. Yeah. And I will attack the gremlin. Oh, it was almost a twenty. Uh, for a twenty-four. 24 is a hit, Della, and as you leap towards it, uh, this creature is not prepared for your counter-attack whatsoever, and you strike it heavily. Uh, roll the damage. Uh, I hit them for nine. Nine points, okay. Very nice hit. Um, move, draw, stab. That is Della's turn, I think. Yes. Okay, uh, that brings us round to Alwyn. Did Raiden share that information about them? Uh, if I would have been able to, then yes. I mean, you probably wouldn't have been able to be able to share all of it. I'll give you a sentence or two that, that you can shout out. Uh, probably would have uh, shouted out the information that they like to have their targets on the ground for easy access. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, so this one is tw- 20 feet ahead of Arwen, is that right? No. Uh, no, it's kind of breaking in from, from your left, so actually it's only um, sort of 10 feet, feet from you, but it's just coming out of the tree line. Right. Uh, Arwen will draw his plus one striking rapier. Mm-hmm. And he will ready an action to attack it when it comes in range yeah sure you can absolutely do that um, that's going to bring it onto their turn um, creature does indeed rush towards you Alwyn um, it's going to set off your ready action ok uh, let's go for ooh, 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 22 22 is a hit roll damage Oh, max damage. 13 points of damage. 13 points. Very nice. So you rush forward, um, just biding your time, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. As the creature rushes forward, um, you it stab, uh, you, you thrust the sword out, and it almost runs straight onto it as you carve a hefty blow into the creature's body. And uh, as it, with a sort of yelp of pain, it's, it's going to happen. Um that was its first action. Second action. Uh, I might change what it does. 
What armor's Arwen wearing? Uh, leather armor, I believe. Leather armor. Studded okay. leather. Studded leather specifically. Perfect. So. So that's not going to be much use. Either. My god, most of these spells these creatures have been given are fucking garbage for a combat situation. <laughs> <laughs> Considering they're supposed to be a combat focused creature. Wow. Yeah. I really wish I'd looked at these beforehand because I could have, I'd have redone these a little bit. Uh... If it's any help, Alwyn is carrying a steel shield. No, that's not uh, relevant. I, t- I, t- I tell you what, 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 what it's going to do. As, 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 as you, ru- as it rushes in and you stab the creature, um, uh, the creature sort, of, sort of yelps and springs back a very, a very slight, slight, slight amount, um, and it lifts up a hand. Um, no, no, put, put, put shiny down. Um, and um, as it lifts the hand up, uh, a stream of what looks to be uh, perhaps some kind of viscous fluid or, or, or an oil or, or something streams out of the creature's hand and uh, aims for your rapier, Alwyn. Um, I need you to make... I need you to make a... Reflex saving throw, please. I'm going to use my hero point because I rolled a two for 14. Oh, that's better. 18 for a total of a disgusting 30. Fucking hell. Okay, um, for a total of a disgusting 30, uh, I can tell you, Alwyn, um, uh, that is going to be. Uh, still a critical success. Fucking hell. Yes. Um, yeah. So as you see this stream of um, of oil or grease heading toward toward toward, toward the rapier, and you you twist out of the way uh, just in time before the sword can can, can be covered in it. Uh, that ends that one's turn. The other one has Della right next to it, and yeah. is going to, is going to spring towards her. These these jaws open, and it springs towards you for a bite. Always the trash mobs that I roll awfully on. Um, <laughs> 17 is going to miss, I think. Yes, it does. Okay, uh, it's going to try again. That's better. Natural 20 for Aww. a total of 28. Can I use my hero point to force a reroll? You may not, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, That's not fine. a thing we do here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much was that, sorry? Uh, so I need to roll damage. B. Nice. Ten. And Twenty-two points of piercing damage, damage Della. Oof. Okay. And as it lunges towards you, um, it's going to use its last action as part of that part of that hit to basically la- basically l- latch onto you. Nyam! It bites onto you and chomps on. And it's just, just kind of hanging onto you there uh, as you become okay. grabbed, Della. Liberating step. You do not have your reaction now, Win. You ready your you ready your action. She uses your reaction. Ah, of course it does. Because it does. I've forgotten. Yeah. That's it. Right. Uh, end of its turn, though, as this thing is now latched onto your arm, Della. Uh, we're round to Amos. Uh, Amos is quite simply going to run um, up to the creature that has deck. Della grabs and he's going to go for a one inch punch uh, and he punches the creature in the back of the head punches the creature in the back of the head and yeah absolutely that's uh, that's all that happens he, he, he sort of rushes around punches it in the back of the head um, you feel it, it, its grip on your arm loosens for a second Della and then it then it reaffirms it as it squishes back into into your arm mm-hmm. um, that's his turn it's Raiden uh, 
I'm going to uh, where the uh, trees collapsed. Would any of the sort of twigs or branches have fallen onto the floor? Uh, yes, absolutely. If, if you're asking if you can use telekinetic projectile, you absolutely can. I will telekinetic projectile uh, at the one hassling uh, Alwyn. Alwyn, perfect. Roll that spell attack. Oh, that's a natural 19. Uh, plus 12. I, I'm going to tell you now, Raiden, that is a critical hit. Even <laughs> nice. Critical hit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Last time you used uh, telekinetic projectile, you was a critical hit as well. <laughs> I, I see a habit forming here. <laughs> Roll your damage. That's... Oh, that's good. That is 18 on the dice. Double to 36. Yeah. <laughs> double to, double, double to, 30, double to 36. You, you pick up this <laughs> this branch, you launch it towards the creature. Um, Alwyn, just as you're fighting, fighting the creature, it, it sort of tries to cover you in grease. And then um, there is a sickening... There's a sound of wood piercing through through, through flesh as uh, the, this this wet thud as uh, you you watch a chunk of wood just pierces through the creature creature's chest. Uh, it looks surprised for a second and then topples to one side and lies still. You look over and you see Raiden just kind of pointing a finger at it. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Right, end of Raiden's turn. Oh no, you got one action left. Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm good. I just You're killed good. something and it was glorious. So yeah. she's she's fine. <laughs> it was pretty glorious. Uh, end of Ryden's turn. Then it's Della. You can see Alrighty. the creature. The creature between you, you, you the creature that, that's bitten onto you. Um, it watches um, Ryden skewer it, its companion. Uh, immediately starts to look a little nervous. I'm going to start flinging my arm up and down to try and remove this creature from it. Oh, get, ah, off, get, get off, get off, get off, get off. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Uh, so make your choice of an acrobatics roll, an athletics roll, or a uh, an arm strike, Della. Uh, I will go with an unarmed strike, so I'm punching it with my hand. All right. That is a 24. 24 against their athletics DC, which is actually fucking awful. Um, yeah, tw- 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 24, just as as your... Um, oh, that's actually going to be a critical success, Hester Della. Um, uh, you, you sort of p- tr- tr- try to shake it off, off your arm, then you punch it on the nose as if as if fight- fighting a shark. Um, you watch as, as, it, as, it, as, it, as, it, as it releases you. As, as, as you break free uh, because that was a critical success Della you can move uh, fi- if you choose to you can move five feet in any direction can I move five feet closer to it menacingly if it's uh, if it moved further away if not then I will stay next door no 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 it's still stay it's still where it, okay. where, it where it was I do not need to move because then I'm going to stab it there you go yeah. all right uh, does this take a penalty? Uh, this will no, take definitely. your multiple attack. Yes, so it'll be minus. Yeah. This array will be minus five. Okay, so 21. 21. Um, yeah, 21 is a hit. Roll damage. Cool. And it, it, cool, it's cool, flat footed because cool. Amos is behind it. Wonderful. I rolled terrible though. So that is a six. Six points of damage. Uh, you, you you punch it, 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 it in the face. You send it reeling and sprawling. You follow you follow up with the rapier, plunging your your sword into into, into its hide. Um, as you stab it, you don't quite bring bring the creature down, but 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 you can see that uh, it, it's now looking around, clear, clearly panicked uh, by your your display of strength. Um, you've got one action left, Della. I've got one more <laughs> swing left in me. <laughs> So I will attempt without saying anything about it first. That's good. Uh, so that is a uh, um, 21. 
21 is a hit, Della. Roll damage yeah. with a sneak attack. That's also not a great roll. Seven. Seven, okay. Oh, plus four. Yeah. Plus four? I'm forgetting to add my dex. You don't add your dex to damage. Do strength. I not? You, oh, do okay. add, you, you do add your strength, though. Oh, okay, then plus two. So, so yeah. you'd be two on top of this, right? So, Nine. so, so actually, um, yeah, actually, as 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 you sort of knock this creature off off your arm, uh, you see it panics for a second. Um, you stab it once; it scrabbles to it, it scrabbles to it to its feet, and and, st- and looks as though it's starting to starting to starting to break away um, back into the safety of the tree line, um, but it, it, it never gets there because you pin it to the ground with your rapier, Della, and it. And it struggles weakly against the blade, blade for a second, and then eventually, after a second, stops moving. And we'll come out, come out of initiative. Uh, check its pockets. Check its <laughs> pockets is why the hell not? Check the pockets of both creatures. Well, I'll, I'll check the one I'm. I've just murdered. Yeah. Seeing as I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you're checking through. Uh, body of this creature. What do you find? Okay. Um, you do actually find Della as you're going as you're going through 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 this creature, and like this creature doesn't have any any bags or, or pockets or anything, but it does have this sort of thick matted hair that, that hair that covers its body. Um, squirreled nice. away, squirreled away inside the um, uh, hair. <laughs> within the hair, um, you come across um, you come across a pile of coin totaling five five gold. Ooh! Uh, and you also come across a silver um, a silver necklace that you think might might be worth a little, little bit of money. Lovely silver necklace. Cool. Thank you, little goblin man. I'll enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, so so Della, you um yeah you you get you, uh, as mentioned you you take this sort of collection of coin totaling five gold from from this first creature, and mm. uh, from from the second, I'm going to assume you take the time to go through both of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, you find this this silver necklace, silver necklace. Got it. And for the purposes of identifying and find that later, um, call that Silver Gremlin Necklace for now, just so we know where that came from. Gremlin. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, we bested them. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, Amos, Amos pipe, pipes up and says, nasty, nasty little, little buggers, what, what, what were they? Oh, uh, something called uh, Nuglops? They're a type of gremlin. Mm. Type of gremlin? Well, they Interesting. I'll, I'll, won't I'll, be I'll... gremlin anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they were here. It seems a strange place for, some, for something like that to hunt. I haven't seen any other people yet. Is that weird? Hmm. I don't know, they, they are a kind of fey creature, so in my mind it makes sense in a way for them to radiate to this area. Not sure. Right, so just as um, just as you're finishing that, that, that conversation, uh, um, Alwyn sort, sort of pull, pull, pulls his sword free from, from the other from the other um, the creature. So I was going to ask. So, if they're fey creatures, do you think we'll encounter many more fey creatures around here? I would think it's probable. Um, I'm not sure. Saying something about my gut instinct says that you know, Barbie Yaga is inherently kind of. Fay like herself and her hut probably as a result and the magic that resides in it. So maybe they're drawn here? 
that would make sense, yes. Because we, we know from experience how to deal with fey creatures, don't we? Alwyn's going to swap out his uh, rapier for his cold iron longsword. Ooh, smart. I will do the same. Follow your lead. Raiden, I think um, kind of just piecing together um, the information you've had so far. Um, obviously, these these creatures, these nuglubs, these gremlins were obviously fake, fake, fake creatures. Um, as you kind of look at them, now they're dead on the ground and not moving, they do bear... Um, they do have a passing resemblance to the creature you saw in the centre of, of the lake. You know, the same um, the same large ears, the same um, uh, sort of so- solid, solid, solid co- coloured co- 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 eyes. I think, yeah, I think based, I think you can piece enough together that um, this this forest seems to have some kind of connection to. Um, to the first world, sometimes known as the Feywild, where where where, where Fey cre- creatures live. Um, whether these creatures were associated with the creature in the lake, you don't know, but there certainly seems to be something that is drawing Fey creatures here. Hmm. I will share that, and in addition, also say uh, while we were walking before we were rudely interrupted by these creatures I was thinking a little more about the uh, chant that entity in the, the pond was saying I'm not sure there's something about it that uh, I feel like there's more to it some of the things it was saying uh, when the world is whole again and like about reality and I'm not sure uh, if we can at some point I'd like to go back and have another look at it oh, we can go back and ask it seemed friendly enough we'll check if it's evil first thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can ask Um, but before we do, uh, looking around this area, is there a, a further path forwards, or have we come to like a dead end, or what's so, around yeah, us? Yeah. So, so now, n- now that this area has kind of settled down a bit, and you've taken c- taken care of the immediate threat, um, you explore a little further along this this north this north this north no- northern path. Um, you find that after maybe a hundred feet or so, uh, you come to certainly what what appears to be a dead end just just, just a thick wall wall of trees and briar uh, that are blocking your path uh, and just as you get to the kind of far end of, it, of this path um, you can see in a small little alcove um, off on the uh, the right hand side as, as you're walking up um, you can see that there is what looks to be a ruined a ruined merchant merchant's wagon And, uh, you can you can just make you you can just make out um, that um, there are human hu- humanoid shapes uh, lying on the ground around this wagon. Hmm. Perhaps uh, victims of one of their ambushes. Should we take a closer look? Yeah, there might be stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there might be people we can help. Because they're dead, might doesn't mean to say there aren't any injured people nearby. And that's our personalities in a nutshell, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly it. Exactly it. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, you're approaching this, uh, this, this this ruined wagon. Yeah. Okay. So as as you get close to the wagon itself, uh, you see. Um, the wagon itself is, as mentioned, ruined. Uh, one of the wheels is um, is is broken. Uh, seems to have had like a shaft of metal or wood rammed through through the spokes as it, as it was moving, and the wheel itself has has shattered. Uh, the main body of the cart itself is um, is is sort of damaged, and the cloth covering uh, is ripped and torn. Um, you can see it's sort of uh, there's a f- 
there's a few crates and boxes, a couple of, w- of which are broken, um, appear to be um, they appear to be transporting perhaps adventuring gear, gear of some sort. The, by, by the way, these people dressed, they 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 definitely appear to, to have been merchants, or at least perhaps a merchant and their family. Um, you see, one of these individuals is is dressed relatively finely. The rest um, are dressed more plainly, but still, you know, quite quite nice, nice, nice fashion. As you get here, you you see that there are six humanoids, uh, sorry, six hum- humans, all lying, um, some face down in the snow, some face up, some curled up against the wagon itself. And it doesn't take take you long to realize that these 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 six individuals are all dead. Um, you can see they they are they are all covered in uh, bite and claw marks, um, consistent with the size of the creatures that that you that that you just fought, and um, uh, yeah, that's that's what you see here. You either must have been lucky, or these guys are rather unfortunate. Our seasoned adventurers. They were merchants. They might have been easier I, prey. I would. I would say the the none of these the, these in, individuals looked like they have any. They they would have had any kind of combat ability. But if they're merchants, they might have had things. Yeah. Do you do you want to search? Yeah. Why not? Do so you have mind? A percep- have a perception check. Ooh, uh, that is twenty nine. Okay, so you go, th- um, you start to search through the wagon itself, um, and mostly you find that this is um, there's, th- there are sort of three crates on this on this on this wagon. Um, two of them contain um, adventuring gear, um, so if you're in need of rope or torches or any kind of mundane adventuring gear that that that, that you might buy from from a shop, um, you can basically take what take what what you need that might be useful. If you, need, if you need to replenish anything, you can. There's, there doesn't appear to be anything magical here. Um, however, as you're going through through, through the third chest, Della, sorry, the third crate, um, which seems to be stuffed full of clothing, um, more pers- personal effects, that, that kind of thing, uh, you do come across a small coffer uh, buried beneath um, all, all, all of this clothing. It appears to be locked. Ooh, a locked coffer. I'll pocket that. As is. Okay. I mean, I assume it's small enough to carry. It's. It's actually not like like it's okay. um it's quite it, it's not a Let's... massive chest but but but, but it, it's not something that it's not something that that, that would slip into no. your pocket. Okay, let me try and uh, uh, check the lock for traps first. Sure. Um, that's secret check. Uh, what's your perception bonus? Twelve. Okay, you check this lock. It does not appear to be trapped. Okay, I will try and pick it by using my thieves' tools. Right, let's have a thievery check. Also a good roll. Uh, 31. 31. Uh, That, I can tell you, is a critical success. This lock doesn't appear to be... um, this yeah this this lock doesn't doesn't appear to be particularly particularly well made. Uh, however, you don't quite get it open. Um, you think you probably need one more success there, Della. Uh, okay. I will try again. Come on, lock. Uh, twenty-three. Uh, and with a click, um, you you open this this coffer and you swing the uh, chest itself open and uh, what wonders await inside we'll find out next week Tales from the Twenty Side is a Figo Films production in association with Juicy Falls. Music by Alexander Nakarada and editing by Stu Jackson. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord by searching Tales from the Twenty Side or by visiting talesfromthe20side.com. Tales from the Twenty Side.
Find out. No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, I think uh, it's probably fair to say Della isn't going to share her findings with the rest of the group anyway. No. So, Dom, I will give you my character sheet and you can record it on there. Sure. And you can see how little health I have. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds perfect. Well, they didn't seem that, that tough. No, that's what I was saying. But that's Listen, okay. I'm not. Gonna, that's not a complaint. Just to be clear, I, mean, just I can be absolutely I can, clear. <laughs> I can put ten more, ten more on the map if you want to. It's uh, <laughs> no, that's that's fine. It, actually, it's nice to have a combat that isn't life or brutal. death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you need you need those sometimes just to reaffirm. Um, your character's capabilities, really, because you, you know you, you are quite capable, capable characters mm. when you think about it. C- certainly, in terms of in terms of the world, um, you, know, you you guys are are on the verge of becoming almost exceptional individuals. Um, almost godlike, one might say. Uh, almost godlike, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's test that theory. Eh? Why would you say say such a thing? <laughs> well. I mean, Caden Kellyan did tell Alwyn that he should uh, try touching the star stone. I'm not sure that's uh, that's exactly what he said. I mean, that's how Alwyn took it. <laughs> <laughs> he did discourage him, so you know that's as good as encouragement in Alwyn's eyes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You didn't say you, you didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine right, the rest uh, of the party is like, Alwyn, no. Alwyn, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? 